Hi there guys, welcome back. In our prior tutorial, we have learned how to create clickable text buttons. And also we have learned how to create clickable image button. The way we did it was to place these buttons on our screen for the user to click on. In today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to place clickable GUI text buttons and image buttons on a part. Let's now go to Studio and get started. Here we are inside Roblox Studio. The first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need to add a part and we can rename our part to wall so we're going to make a wall and we're going to put these buttons on our wall i'm going to change the color of my wall and resize it okay so now i have a wall let's make sure our wall is anchored as well we don't want it to fall down what we want to do now is to place all these gui text buttons and image buttons and the frame onto our wall. Let's now go to our started GUI. So in our last lesson, in order to place these items on the screen, we use a screen GUI. To place them on the wall, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a surface GUI. We're gonna go to our started GUI, we're gonna click on the plus sign, and we're gonna add a surface GUI. Now the process of creating the frames and the, the buttons are exactly the same as when we did it in our prior tutorial when we created them on the wall. So instead of repeating the process over again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy these items from our screen GUI and I'm gonna place them into our surface GUI, paste into. So now you can go ahead and delete the screen GUI if you like, or if you just leave it there, then you're still gonna have these buttons and the frame over here. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete our screen GUI that we have created for the last prior tutorial. Now I'm left with my new Surface GUI and we have the frame. The frame contains an image button and also we have a text button inside our Surface GUI. To place the Surface GUI on our part, what we need to do is to go to the Surface GUI properties and we're gonna look for a property called Adorning. Click on that. Now we're gonna go and select a part to place it on. We wanna place it on the wall, so click on the wall. You can see wall has been filled in for the Adorni property. Now we have placed our surface GUI on the wall. If you don't see the buttons on the wall, that is because it's not facing in the right direction. So what we want to do now is we want to click on view, click on view selector. We want to see which way we're facing right now. So we're facing left. I'm going to go back to my surface GUI here and we want to look for a property called face. You see right now the, the default is front we want to select left. So I'm going to click on this, select left, and immediately you can see the frame, the image button, and the text button appearing on our wall. And that is all there is to it. Let's play test and take a look. I'm going to go and look for my wall. Let me kick this wall here, break it up. And here's my wall. You can see there is a text button down here. I can click on it to open and close the frame. And also on the frame here, there is an image button that I can click on it to display or hide the text button. Again, instead of open and close an image button or a frame, you can replace that with any other action you like when the player clicks on a button. And there you go, guys. That is how you place a clickable GUI text button and image button on the part. Mm hmm.